Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is PG Senpai. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber and viewer, thank you so much for clicking my video. Today we are going to be doing another installment of the Ever After High series where we are spinning a wheel to see what character we're going to create today. I'm going to be spinning this really aesthetic wheel. I took off the names of the characters I've already created. If you missed that video, you can check it out after this video. I'll be linking it on the screen as well as in the description. So let's see who we're going to be creating first. Oh my god, so close. So freaking close. I thought I was going to get Raven Queen or Apple White, but it looks like we're going to be creating Vera Good Fairy first, the daughter of the fairy godmother. So I'm going to be holding my mic today. I hope that doesn't distract anyone, but I don't really have a very super quiet place to record. You guys may have also noticed that I'm wearing a completely different outfit. I filmed the intro in Will Spin like a week ago when I made these Sims or like right before I made them because I wanted to get my like real reaction and I was trying to do a different kind of editing style and it wasn't really working out it's just something that will take me more time and it's something that I have to like practice and yeah it's just a lot for me right now so I'm gonna continue editing the way I have been and I just want to thank you guys so much for 12,000 subscribers as I'm recording this I hit 12,000 today and I'm really still just trying to wrap my head around the fact that 12,000 of you guys are supporting me and loving my content so welcome to the family if you are a new subscriber also I have recently discovered that that only 10% of you guys who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So let's see if we can't get that up to 25% by mid-April. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment down below. I am a full small time content creator and any support goes a very long way from you guys. First up, we have the Radiant Farah Good Fairy. Farah Good Fairy is the epitome of ethereal beauty. With her shimmering wings and enchanting aura, she's known for her kindness and her ability to sprinkle a little bit of magic everywhere she goes. With her flowing pastel hair and delicate features she's truly a sight to behold so as always characters that i'm unfamiliar with and sometimes familiar with i get more information on their personality on this particular wiki they stated that Farah is a genuinely good-hearted fairy she's kind helpful and selfless to a degree that's outright motherly even those who are rude to her she responds with respect and refuses to treat anyone unfairly it's also very windy here so please excuse the background noise anything you guys might hear it's very loud where i live she's very very understanding and has never been seen resorting to anger or blame and instead displays a dynamic and magnetic personality that tends to draw people in. However, when solving other people's problems, she often forgets to take care of herself. It's easy for her to stress herself out trying to please everyone else that sometimes she neglects her own problems. Though content working behind the scenes, Farah has expressed a deep desire to be well known or be in the spotlight for once. After she finishes living out her legacy being the forward fashion dreamer she is she plans to open boutiques all over ever after now for Farah, i really wanted to give her a very ethereal look as most of the descriptions said about her i wanted her to look like a cute little fairy but also like someone who is capable of helping other people i did my very best to incorporate her stars and like it looks like stars or snowflakes or a mix of the two but i tried my best to incorporate her stars as well as i could and also i wanted to give her her wings and a little wand of course. I wanted to make her very sweet looking and although her hair is not exactly what I was looking for, I think it was the best option that I had at the moment. Same for her outfit, I think that was the best choice for her. As far as how these sims look, of course they're not going to look exactly like the characters. They are created in my sim style and really how I interpret them to be. I did not have like a necklace that I really wanted to use so I used one that had a bunch of stars on it regardless because again I wanted to incorporate her stars heavily into her outfit or her look. If you guys are interested in downloading any of these sims they will be available for download on my patreon and all the cc links will also be included for the first few weeks they will be in early access if you guys want to wait of course you can i'm not trying to force anyone to do anything that i want to or to support me in a way they don't want to or can't so i'm just putting that out there but after the first few weeks just like all my other sims they will be free to the public okay this is how Farah came out i hope you guys like her look the next character we're going to be creating is going to be madeline hatter oh my god 
gosh, I was so excited. I absolutely love the Mad Hatter's character and his vibe, so I'm glad that we get to create his daughter today as well. I was really excited when I got Madeline because I really like the Mad Hatter character overall. Madeline is a very whimsical character with a love for tea parties and spontaneous adventures. Her quirky personality shines through mismatched clothes and colorful accessories, which I tried my very best to make into reality. With her signature top hat and a mischievous grin, Madeline adds a touch of wonder to every situation. The wiki stated the following about Madeline. Madeline is bright and energetic and extremely friendly. She's very optimistic, generally interpreting things more positively than they actually are. She is extremely fond of tea and carries an entire tea set in her top hat, including her tea buddy and pet Earl Grey, <laughs> which I think is so cute. <laughs> So if I'm not mistaken, each of the Ever After High characters has a little bit of magic and I believe that it's called Wonderlandian magic. For Madeline, her magic is that of course she can store literally anything in her hat. She also has visions of other times and places, can read people's thoughts as well as hear the narrators, something which her peers don't believe. And I think that's really funny because basically Madeline is breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> And I just think incorporating the fourth wall into any show or cartoon or whatever you want to call it is just very interesting to me. She also sometimes speaks in riddlish, the Wonderlandian language of riddles without even realizing that she's doing it. For instance, in her diary, she speaks in a riddle about change, calling it what jingles in your pocket, but is never the same. And I guess that's just like a play on words because change can mean two different things in English. So. Yeah, underneath her giddy, happy, and optimistic, bubbly personality hides a very intelligent person who can be quite serious about matters when she needs to be. If there's anything that I misinterpreted or explained incorrectly or you believe a different version, please let me know down in the comments. I'm new to Ever After High. I was pretty old when it came out, so I wasn't really watching it at the time. And I still haven't seen the show, but I am reading more about each character before I make them in The Sims. It's just for fun. And I'm not trying to pretend like I'm super familiar with these shows or anything, which is why I disclaim that every time in every video. Um, so with that being said, these videos are just for fun. But if I did misinterpret something, let me know down in the comments. I really like how Madeline came out. I really struggled with her hair color just because of course she has a lot of colors in her outfit overall So I wanted to make sure it wasn't doing too much But at the same time doing just enough if that makes sense Her outfit was more giving jester at some point or clown and it's nothing wrong with that But that's just not really how I envisioned Madeline had her so I, I had to tone it down a little bit and still go for like her Maroon or burgundy teal turquoise colors in her outfit and her hair So at the point that I gave Madeline her gloves she she really started to look like Willy Wonka. I actually would like to make Willy Wonka characters, so if you guys want to see that as well, let me know down in the comments. Again, I'm always open to suggestions, but I do have a very long list, and of course, Patreon and members' requests will be made priority. And I think that Madeline actually came out pretty unique to any of my other Sims. I really wanted to give her more accessories, and I struggled with her outfit as well, so I asked my sister which outfit I should use, and she decided on the dress that I chose in the end. If I could have added more accessories, I definitely would have. You guys know. I love accessories and <laughs> I try to fill every category if humanly possible. But this is how Madeline came out. I think she came out super cute. Out of all the characters, I think that she was my favorite, not because she's my favorite character, but because I just like her design or how I interpreted her design in The Sims. And for the third character, let's see who we're gonna create. Ooh, oh my gosh. Y'all are so lucky. So a lot of people wanted to see the Charming siblings and today I'm gonna to be creating Daring Charming. Daring is the epitome of a classic fairy tale prince. With his chiseled features and noble demeanor, he's known for his bravery and his unwavering sense of honor. With his stylish armor and a captivating smile, Daring is the hero of every story. Now the wiki stated that Daring is very self-absorbed. He loves looking at himself in the mirror and he's very flirtatious with the female students at Ever After High. Apparently he has extremely white teeth like pearly pearly whites and he uses that to his advantage to get any of the girls to swoon which only adds to his ego. Now there was an episode that stated that Daring was turned into a beast in Epic Winter I think the episode is called which made him become more selfless and kind just to undo the curse. Now we don't know if well I don't know if he continued to be kind and and selfless but you guys can let me know in the comments if you know that okay I think he just did it to break the curse but that's just my opinion 
Now this is probably my sixth male sim I've made this year. Again, I do not make male sims and I think daring was a challenge for me because I had to make him look like a prince and to make him look different. And overall, I think my sims have like a very similar look to them because I have a specific style that I go for. But for daring, I wanted to give him slightly smaller eyes like the ever after high male characters tend to have, slightly more narrow and more square shaped rather than round. I also wanted to make him look like he already knew that, you know, he's very handsome and you know he's definitely gonna use that to his advantage for his outfit at first I was gonna give him more of an actual prince look and I looked up more pictures of his outfit and he just wears like a letterman over a vest and a crown and some jeans with tennis shoes so I made his outfit more casual just so that it fits his like base character design again I don't have a whole lot of male CC so I did my very best I think Darren came out super adorable super cute and handsome at the same time if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more content like this i have some newer content coming very very soon so stay tuned for that i'll probably do some teasers on the community tabs here and there so you guys can check that out and also i'll continue to do more polls to figure out what you guys want to watch next thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye